Not a reason. On this day of day, we have interviewing Kiss. We'll have a look at that, and we hope he'll be here to talk with us right after this. Let's have a look at Norman interviewing Kiss earlier this week. Everyone uh, talked about uh, Norman Gunston. <coughs> Kiss Army Generalissimo and um, the thinking man's Paul Macon for the for the Mike Willisy show. Uh, Mr. Willisy apologises he couldn't come himself, but um, he had to stay and watch TV because the carryover champ was only five dollars off winning the Mercedes Benz. Uh, okay, uh, do we just sort this out now? Uh, which one is the construction worker? <laughs> Okay, okay, let's wrap. Let's wrap. No construction, only demolition. Right. I can dig it. I dig it. Okay? Bit of gonzo. Bit of gonzo talk, okay? Um, now you guys are supposed to be uh, pretty smart at business, right? Okay? No, we're the impersonators. We're not kiss. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now come no. on. Come on. <laughs> You're Gene Simmons, aren't you? Aren't you, uh... Robert Farnsworth. No, 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 that's not you. No, no, Norman Gunston. Oh, Norman. I'm sorry. Thinking man's Paul Megan. Um, yeah, now, uh, you guys are very good at merchandising, right? I mean, not like, let's face it, it was a pretty smart move. You right. touring Australia just as I had my record out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just tell us, could you give us a hint about the merchandising? Like, um, when you actually serve a customer, do you wrap the docket up in the parcel or do you still... <laughs> Thank you, Eugene. No chance. I'm not going to touch that with a ten foot pole. Uh, Mr. Freely. Okay, enough serious questions. Now let's have some levity. Mr. Freely, are you over that bad cold you had when Mr. Molly Meldrum interviewed you on Countdown? Come again? Are you over the bad cold when Molly Meldrum interviewed you? Because your nose kept running and you kept sniffing all the time. Well, and you're... We were on top of the train center. It was yeah. very cold. Out here. Your face was as white as snow. Is it, is it, is it true that you use more toilet paper on your face than you do on your bum? I see, I see. I see. Poo jokes, is it? Poo jokes. <laughs> My, uh, my Uncle Bradley uh, has a, a tongue... How is he? He's very good, thanks. Okay. Uh, my Uncle Bradley has a tongue 11 inches long. Uh, but he, he wasn't born it. with it, you know, like, I mean, he got it because he was in an iron lung and he got tinnier under his arms and he had to keep the area moist. Uh, is that how you got your long tongue? No, I got mine. You see, when I was born, the doctor made a mistake and he grabbed wrong of the wrong appendage and he pulled. Oh. Uh, speaking of things like that, uh, you, and, you and Miss Diana Ross, uh, you know... Uh, Excuse know, me, I can't hear you. You and Miss Diana Ross, you know. I'm sorry? You and Miss Diana Ross are together, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, we... Yeah. Miss, Miss Diana Ross! I... Aren't you? I thought you were like that, you and Miss Diana Ross. <laughs> a wonderful... I thought you'd make a lovely couple. You in white face and her in... Uh, oh. oh, really? Detroit, oh. you know. Norman, that means you and I want to discuss it outside? Is that what you mean? No, oh, no, no, no. Uh, didn't she come with you? Who? Diana, I'm Diana Ross. <laughs> Are you, are you, will you be taking pictures of, uh, nude pictures of the women you s sleep with on the road in Australia? No, only if you will come to my room. Good idea, because we drive on the left-hand side, you might get run over, you know. I didn't understand a word you said. Now listen, I don't want to make an issue of this, all right? Because Wollongong, Australia Post down in Wollongong, pretty slack. I mean, the, the male sorters can only read the Greek alphabet for a start. But I never got my, an answer to my application to be replace Peter Chris in the band. We would need to take too late. That, well, it's up to you. If you prefer a drummer to one of the best blues harp players on the South Coast, that's all right. There is still a chance to kick him out and put me in, okay? Okay. Yeah, but there's a problem with the hairstyle. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> Actually, I know. Personally, 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 it went out ages ago. But that would, that would work wonderfully. We could bounce a laser beam off your head. <laughs> Did you ever think of a career as a satellite? I... <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. These people respect me here. Don't make fun of me in front of this. <laughs>
I've, I've got to split any chance of an autograph before I go. <laughs> any chance Absolutely. of an autograph. Which right. one of these is you, Norman? No, I'll just make them all out for you. Then I've got to stamp so I can do it quickly. Here we go. There's one for you. We love you, Norman. Oh, the guys, aren't they wonderful? Oh, sorry, Paul. Oh. I don't like having my back to Paul. Give us a talk, Norman. I've ever been to it. Went for really about half an hour. You only saw bits of it there, but he stole the show. Norman Gunston is unfortunately on his way to the studio, and I think we're going to run out of time before we get Norman in live because he's probably got to, you know, straighten his face up and that and put some of that toilet paper on. This is I'm marching in the Kiss Army. Norman Gunston. Shipped 15,000, has it, Norman? I was so fascinated being late on the program. You, the new Lord Mayor of Sydney and everything. <laughs> Doug, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's OK, it's OK, Norman. How, how great a fan are you of Kiss? Uh, oh, I wonder. I love them, love them. Uh, Kiss and I are like that. Uh, Paul Stanley's a bit more like that than the others. <laughs> do you think so? Oh, no, I get know. on great. Well, you, well, you do. Didn't you notice at the press conference? I noticed. Me I, and Ace. I thought, <laughs> show, I thought you stole the show, mate. I thought you stole the show. I hope they're not into drugs, but... No, I don't think they are. Not like those New Zealand pop bands, <laughs> because if there's any hint of drugs, you know, they could die in that terrible ritualistic fashion <laughs> when they go to New Zealand. You know, right. they chop off your index finger <laughs> oh, do and they? you die of a block nose. <laughs> I, mind you, I don't think anything of block Ace's nose. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
<laughs> little bit of practice there. What a, the tongue bit? You, I noticed you on that interview. We've just played the interview, by the way, that you did, uh, yeah. for Mr. Willisick. Oh yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> your tongue didn't quite match theirs, did it? It didn't. No, it didn't. It's not as long as I must admit. My uncle Dez. Oh, you heard about it. my uncle Dez. He's got a really long tongue. The one that was in the Iron Lung and everything. I didn't. Uh, yeah. That in the, yes, that was in the interview. Right. I was talking about Uncle Dez. Right. Yes, uh, my tongue isn't as long as theirs. Right. Mind you, my uh, my advisor, my mentor, uh, Sammy Namajira Jr. He's got a tongue 27 inches long. Dead set. Yeah, dead set. Because you got it stuck in the <laughs> polystyrene boomerang mould, you know. <laughs> This is the Australian artefacts. <laughs> but it came back. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of, of all the people, because we're really running out of time, of all the people, I hope you can come back in and join us again in the next week or two. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I, think I bet I'll feel well, so we've been, ashamed of it. We've been promoing it like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Do you think I was just on the Singleton show with you the other night? You look so different. <laughs> you changed a bit. <laughs> he drinks more than me. He said that on the radio. No, no, no. Oh, it's the other thing. No, Lord Mayor. <laughs> no, I mean the Lord Mayor. Thrown away the walking stick and everything. Sing a lady's hands on you. Anyway, the fav your favourite two people you've ever interviewed oh. on your trip around the world. Real quick, Norm. The favourite two people? Uh, probably uh, James Garner and uh, Mick Jagger. Hope to see you back. Bye-bye oh. and thank you for coming in, Norman. Oh, thank you very thank much. You. See you next week, same time, same station. Yeah.